Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Sean and I'm a real estate professional here in the Bay Area. And today I'm gonna to go over the June Bay Area real estate market update. Coming right up. All right, so here we have the Aculus daily data as of June 24th of 2020. Basically, we've been in shelter in place for over 100 days, which is crazy. And that means it's been 100 days since I've gone to the gym and done a single pull-up. So with that, let's see how things have been going. So new, sold, canceled, withdrawn. If we look at the data here, we can see that before shelter in place, over here was what was normal, where you have a lot of properties that are new and you have a few that are sold. Shelter in place happened, all of a sudden, all the new listings went down to zero. And in early May, showings were resuming. And we can see here that now we're having a pretty good looking summer. So end of spring, properties were back up, closings were back up, everything seemed okay. The difference here is obviously still very bad, but we're taking into consideration the beginning of shelter in place, which is where most of this turmoil happened. After that, it was pretty steady. So let's continue on. We can see that new homes listed and we're comparing them with 2019 and the dates are shifted because you know, like uh, the first could be a Friday in one year or the first could be a Sunday in one year. So we wanna shift the dates to make them match. And as you can see here, at first it wasn't looking too good. New homes listed was obviously very low in the beginning, a shelter in place. Once showings resumed, it seemed to pick back up. And then a couple of weeks later, it seemed to be on track and on normal pace. The thing is during the summer months, the real estate market does tend to dip a little bit so maybe we're just catching up to that. So on the one hand, we have pent up demand from a lack of a spring season this year. And at the same time, we now have this going on where last year's new listings were actually kind of going down a little bit from their peak in spring. Okay, moving on to the next slide of sold listings. So same here, during shelter in place, in the very beginning of shelter in place, the sold listings were on track of last year. And that's because properties went pendant and contingent before shelter in place happened. So it takes a while for these ripples to come into effect. And as you can see here, a couple of weeks later, then now there's a gap and a discrepancy between what we're selling in 2019, between what we're selling in 2020. And I guess it got really bad right before showings resumed. So about a month after showings resumed, which is around this time frame, you can see here that slowly but surely, our sold listings are coming up. They're definitely not on pace as they were in 2019, which is this giant spike right here, but they are getting better. And as you can see here for the past few weeks, we are on the same track as we were last year, which is great. It means that our real estate market is pretty much back to normal. We're, we're kind of healthy. So moving down to changing contingent 2019 versus 2020, again, very good signs. So when you buy a house, you don't close day one. You go into contingency first. You say, oh, I wanna have an inspection contingency appraisal contingency, or I wanna have some loan contingency. But then after that, you go pending. So change of contingent is basically what happens the day after you sign contract. And as you can see here, very similar pattern. At the beginning of shelter in place, a lot of properties did not go contingent, even though our closings were the same as 2019. A lot of them just suddenly were not contingent anymore. And as we got used to this method of showing houses, it picked back up and the trend has been to go upwards. So the showings have resumed. We are closing and going contingent at about the same pace, if not even more than in 2019. So this is good. We basically lost our boom from the spring. We probably might see it here in the summer since it's not like people are gonna go traveling during the summer anyway. People are still scared of COVID. So now it's like, okay, we're sick of staying in our homes. Maybe our small apartments. We wanna to move to a bigger house. So. Now's a great time to buy properties. Like everyone is trying to get into it. Interest rates are super, super, super low. I saw someone get a 2.75% interest rate from some bank recently and it's, it's amazing. So if you can get to that, get it. All right, same here, change the pending. The trend is going upwards. People are closing. More people are getting under contract and more people are going pending right now. Transactions falling through. Obviously, right when shelter in place happened, everyone freaked out and they backed out like crazy, but very quickly they went back to normal and there was nothing you know, unique with that. Same with canceled listings. 
right in the beginning, they're like, nope, taking my house off the market, canceling it, and then it's back to normal. So all very, very good signs. Same with withdrawn listings. We were back to normal again. So if you look at the new listings and sold homes, we can see that we are seeing more inventory come up, but we're also seeing more houses being sold. So it's not like we have way more inventory, everyone's trying to flood the market and fire sell their houses, and houses aren't closing fast enough to absorb all this new inventory. No, sales are picking up relative to how much new inventory we have. So for now, it seems like we're still okay. Um, this is also another graph showing what we saw before that more properties are going contingent and more properties are going pending as well. So this data is for the five MLS listings counties, San Mateo, Santa Clara, Santa Cruz, San Benito, and Monterey. So this is all pretty good stuff. It basically shows that the market is recovering and the market is very healthy. If you guys have any questions about the Bay Area market and are interested in purchasing or selling your home here in the Bay Area, feel free to reach out to me. You can reach me by booking a call down with the link in the description below. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, and hit that bell notification to get notified every time I release a new video. Thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you next time. Take care.